Suppose you are given a list of numbers and you are told to sort them. How would you proceed? Most people would just, so to speak, get on with the job. They would proceed in a rather informal way by shuffling numbers around until the list is sorted. Others may adopt a more principled approach. They may use a sorting strategy. A common sorting strategy adopted by computer scientists is called bubble sort. Conceptually, bubble sort is very simple. For each subsequent pair of elements in the list, check if they are ordered. If they are not, switch them. Repeat until the list is sorted. The algorithm is called bubble sort because, when the algorithm is visualized, numbers literally bubble up in order. Computers cannot solve problems informally. They must be programmed with specific sets of instructions in order to solve a problem. These sets of instructions are called algorithms. So what is, an algorithm? An algorithm is a non-ambiguous specification of how to solve a class of problems. To be valid, an algorithm must require a finite amount of time and a finite amount of memory. A mathematical proofs algorithms? Or algorithms something different? Both algorithms and proofs employ logic, but proofs usually include some amount of natural language and admit some degree of ambiguity. In fact, most mathematical proofs can be considered applications of rigorous informal logic. Algorithms only represent a small subset of mathematics. In fact, to show that an algorithm works, one typically has to produce a mathematical proof. This is fine for simple algorithms like Euclid's algorithm for the computation of the greatest common divisor. But what about complex software systems? How do we prove that complex software systems, like your online banking system, work? The truth is, we can't. We cannot formally prove that complex software systems work. For these systems, a pragmatic solution is needed. They must be put to the test. And this exactly what test-driven development, which we will see in one of our follow-up videos, is about. But how is an algorithm conceived? We mentioned that algorithms, as opposed to mathematical proofs, do not admit ambiguity. But is that really true? When an algorithm is initially designed, the developer typically comes up with a sketchy picture of the algorithm behavior. This is generally represented in the form of a flowchart. A flowchart typically admits some degree of ambiguity and cannot be directly executed. The written counterpart of a flowchart is a pseudocode. A pseudocode is also ambiguous and it is used to give a high-level description of the algorithm behavior, without too much concern for the specific language in which the algorithm will be eventually implemented. Only when a developer implements the algorithm in a specific language, this ambiguity is dispelled. 